Why in these last days is the church struggling so when God has supplied his people with so much? How come we don't have funds that allow young people who don't have money to go to our schools? How come? How come? Why are God's people working two, three jobs to buy stuff he's going to burn up? Now, don't get me wrong. Give him something to burn. Oh, yeah. If you can buy a Lexus instead of a Ford, buy the Lexus. They're going to burn a whole lot richer than that Ford. It's not about stuff, folk. It's about what we have done with it. The church has become possessed with possessions. So he came, had nowhere to lay his head. He came, walked everywhere. He came, was buried in a borrowed tomb. Henry, here's the lesson. Form no attachment to the things of this earth. Trouble's coming, boy. What, God, the day is going to come when anybody who's not willing to stand with Satan won't be able to have stuff? And Henry, I don't want you to be so caught up that you even think about selling out. I ask you, Father. I ask you, Mother. I ask you, young, educated, young adult. I ask you, visitor and friend, whether you be Adventist or not. I ask you. What is the measurement of your self-worth? If it's the things that you have, then you are in trouble. And when the day of affliction comes, Satan will have you right where he wants you. Set yourself free. Sometimes just test God. Just go on and give more money to the church than you can afford by your checkbook. See, nobody said amen. Nobody said amen. Nobody said amen. Come on, y'all. Test him. Try him. Find out what God will do. We'd like to quote those texts. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Try him. My God can do anything. Try him. You can't beat God giving. We just rear back and pat our feet. Try him. Watch him work wonders in your life. 